So there's a lot of different things. Gil Scott Harris a good, also another good, you know. Revolution will not be televised. Gil Scott Harris still live, still doing it. You know, so there's various there's various things that if you go and search a little bit, you're gonna find you know, some past stuff that led to what MCs be became and has become today. So was that like during segregation? Yeah, I mean, I know that. Was that like during like segregation or something? Because the 60s was like... Yeah, well, you know, it was post, right after it. Yeah, right. So that's some basic background, right? On where the hip hop came from. Or as you guys know, I didn't, I didn't know it goes that far back. I mean, it go, it can go way, way back. If you go to, go to Africa and the Rio, you know that's where it's from. The last poet's concept of talk about what's going on in your village, what's There's going on in your hood. That would, that would go back to uh, black exploitation films, and there was a really well-known um, artist named Rudy Ray Moore, who was named Dolomite. And every one of his movies, he rhymed everything. To the point, there's a rapper, I don't know if y'all have heard of him, but his name is Big Daddy Kane. And on Big Daddy Kane's second album, he battled Dolomite. And at, yeah. the, at, and at the end of the record, he goes, Ah, oh, fuck it, I give up. And he just gives it up to those like, but they know he was one of the original MCs that do exactly what all these rappers do now. I mean, it could go on and on. You go to Schaumburg Center, man, you do your research, you're going to find live. He was rapping during an old movie. Yeah, everything he did, he was rhyming. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Rudy Rainbow. That's deep. That's totally my So. Yeah, check this out. Now, this is another example of a rap group that used the last poets. Tribe called Quest, they're called Q-Tip. Now, if you listen to math, that's the black poets that's playing. That's the black poets, you hear? There's more rappers that gave props to the people who started what we do. Guys, more recently. Yeah, sure. Daddy Kane's a bit more, you know, a bit more. But he's still not old school yet. Yeah, that's not. Don't make us feel too old. <laughs> <laughs> right, X? <laughs> so, so today, right? Just a little history, background. Started hip hop, BX, Bronx, Poker Rock, one of the first MCs. But many came, many came, many developed, many came and gone. Today, you know. I'm not sure y'all familiar, you know, we lost one of the classic MCs, Guru from Gangstar, just yeah, passed this morning, yeah. or last night, possibly, probably. So, you know, he's, he, he died this morning. He died last night, but this morning, it was announced this morning. Wow. So that's, you know, that's one of the, I guess, you know, legendary flows, unique, smooth, vo yeah. unique vocal tone, lyrics, you know, when he came out, I mean, he was aided by one of the best to ever do it. Beat wise, DJ Premier. Game starts DJ Premier and Google, right? So, but today we lost this guy, you know, it's, they, they did six albums together, some of the most legendary classic material to ever be put on vinyl and CD. So it is ironic that we're doing this today. Thank you, Mr. Wilson, for the announcement. How did he die? He died, well, he was in a coma for a month and a half after a cardiac. Heart attack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that they said that you know he was been battling cancer. I don't know exactly what. I mean I personally don't know exactly what. He was working dealing with cancer for a minute. Hey, wasn't Gangstar sick too long ago or something like that? Who? Gangstar, like the rap he talked about. Yeah, yeah, right. He was, yeah, he was laid down like, like early March he had a heart attack. Yeah, but he was in the hospital since then. I I just recently started watching like I always heard his music you know, throughout the years. But I really wasn't a fan of him that much because I didn't have that understanding that I have now in the hip hop. So I just recently started giving him credit. I mean, they did a lot. I mean, you know, they bridged the gap between jazz music and hip hop yeah. early on. And, you know, they started that classic boom bap sound. You know, carried it up to, I guess, a few years ago. You know, they've been working together for a minute. Guru.